بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ناؤ لیٹ اس ٹاک اباؤٹ دا باڈیز وچ آر فالنگ فریلی اینڈ ایکسلریشن آف دا باڈیز وچ آر فالنگ فریلی فسٹ آف آل یو مسٹ ہیو یور ان یور مائنڈ دیٹ واٹ از ایکسلریشن ایکسلریشن ایز آئی ٹولڈ یو دیٹ ایکسلریشن از دا ریٹ آف چینج آف ویلاسٹی ود ریسپیکٹ ٹو ٹائم اٹ مین اف دا ویلاسٹی آف این آبجیکٹ از چینجنگ ان پر یونٹ ٹائم دین وی سی دیٹ باڈی از ایکسلریٹنگ If there is no change in the velocities occurring per unit time, then we say that there is no acceleration. And you also know that acceleration is caused due to two things. First of all, due to the change in speed, there are two factors. This is very important to understand that there are two factors which can change the uh, velocity and acceleration. One is the speed of the body and other is the direction of the body. And we also know that if the velocity of the body is increasing, then we say that acceleration is the positive acceleration. And if the uh, velocity of the body is decreasing with respect to time, then it means there is negative acceleration. Now come to the point that we are talking about the bodies which are uh, falling freely, mean freely falling bodies. If I am talking about the freely falling bodies, so remember one thing. that the body which is being dropped near the surface of the earth and only the earth gravitational pull is applying a force mean earth is applying a force of attraction on this body and under the action of the force of attraction of the earth the body is coming downward with certain acceleration before telling that you must also kept in your mind that the gravitational field strength near the surface of the earth this is also very important to know the value that the gravitational field strength that at which force the gravity is pulling any body towards itself is 9.8 approximately 9.8 newton per kg this approximate value is the gravitational pull of earth on the body of 1 kg it mean just for example if you have a body of 1 kg if you have body of mass 1 kg then how much force this earth is applying on that body of mass 1 kg that force will be equal to 9.8 newton if i am telling you the value that 9.8 newton per kg is the gravitational field descent then it mean that if you have a mass of 1 kg then that mass of 1 kg is being pulled by the gravitational uh, gr- uh, by the earth with the force of 9.8 newton okay now let us talk about the acceleration due to gravity if you are dropping a body from a certain height talk uh, talking about the body if you are dropping not throwing remember uh, my words keep in your mind that you are not throwing you are just dropping a body just like this from a certain height then its velocity will increase gradually and you know that if i am talking about freely falling bodies and you know uh, that uh, all around us there is air we cannot neglect that factor because air is also causing resistance in the way of traveling of this body towards the earth so this will also cause uh, friction uh, friction so there will also be uh, air resistance or friction whatever so we have to uh, take in your in our mind that there is also air resistance so when the body is falling freely so in practical situation there is air resistance so we will have to keep in our mind that force also that is why we take that the acceleration due to gravity is 9 approximately 9.8 meter per second square here you have to keep in your mind that this is an approximate value of acceleration due to gravity if the body is falling freely its value is 9.8 meter per second square as i told you earlier that the gravitational field strength value is 9.8 newton per kg but the acceleration due to gravity has a unit 9.8 meter per second square here the, uh, the difference of the unit can be noticed that that is the gravitational field strength the gravitational field strength is showing a force on mass of 1 kg and this 9.8 meter per second square is the increase in velocity basically the uh, change in velocity per unit time mean this 9.8 meter per second square is the acceleration due to the force of gravity now as i told you then when body is falling from up 
uh, from a certain a certain building so it is going towards the earth so its gravitational acceleration will be considered as positive acceleration because velocity will gradually increase when it is coming towards the surface of the earth this is very important factor which you also keep in your mind again i am telling you to explain this please listen to me carefully that when you are throwing uh, when you are dropping this body from a certain height then gradually it is traveling towards the surface of the earth then its velocity is increasing gradually that is why its acceleration is positive acceleration and it is represented by small g so small g is representing the gravitational acceleration or acceleration due to gravity which is 9.8 meter per second square and we are taking its value positive because the body is traveling towards the surface of the earth if you are throwing a body in upward direction vertically upward direction what does it mean it is going against the pull of the gravity when it is going against the pull of the gravity then in its acceleration will be taken as negative acceleration and you might have observed when the body goes in upward direction its velocity gradually decreases as i told you earlier when the body is coming towards the surface of the earth its velocity gradually increases but when you are throwing a body in upward direction its velocity gradually decreases this fact must be kept in your mind and i told you then when the velocity of the body is decreasing there will be a negative acceleration and i told you then negative acceleration is also called retardation or uh, deceleration so basically when ever you are using this value when you are throwing a body in upward direction it means the value of g will be negative 9.8 meter per second square now the question arises that what is the gravitational field strength basically the gravitational field strength is the force per unit mass that how much force the gravity or the earth is applying on a unit mass it is represented by small g and uh, it has been calculated and the approximate value of this gravitational field strength is 9.8 newton per kg as i have told you earlier now this can also be calculated with the help of the formula formula is weight is equal to mass multiplied by gravitational field strength in abbreviation we can also write like that w is equal to m multiplied by g from this from this formula you can also make small g as the subject of the formula small g is the gravitational field strength that is equal to weight divided by mass now from this formula you can also make the unit of this gravitational field strength you know that the unit for weight is newton and the unit for mass is kilogram so the unit for gravitational field strength will be newton per kg